Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Nerd News. I am your host, Sam from Media TV, and the Borderlands movie was, in fact, a dud. Expected it to be a dud. It was going to be a dud. Even Jack Black playing Claptrap wasn't going to save this. And lo, when I first addressed this movie about when the first review started releasing today, it was at 0%. And now, it's at 3% because this lovely lady, Miss Grace Randolph, only is here for Kate Blanchett. Only here for Kate Blanchett. Everybody else was no bueno. Let's start with Borderlands treasures through a treasure hunt scenario and endless ripoffs from better franchises from Lethal Weapon to Star Wars. It makes you want to go home and blow up your PlayStation. The movie did not capture the essence of Borderlands video game. The dialogue was messy and all over the place. The action scenes were impressive. A missed opportunity to not explore and tell the story of Lilith's origin from the game. Not a movie for critics, as the saying goes, nor is it suitable for consumption by most gamers. Film lovers are 99% of carbon-based life forms. The biggest problem with Eli Roth's Borderlands isn't that it, it, it's bad. It's not that it's not interesting enough to be bad. It's mass-produced palp. Borderlands is a catastrophic disappointment that plays like two hacked pieces studio slop, betraying everything fans adore about Gearbox Software's derivative regret franchise in derivative regrettable fashion. So drearily routine and slapdash that even an AI would deem it too plagiaristic. What we get the film is with the film is a nosy, insufferable, and embarrassing video game adaptation that can be seen as yet another example of studio-driven cash grabs treating their audience like dumb cardboard pieces. Borderlands feels like glorified cosplay, where capable performers like Blanchett and Curtis merely take position in vain emotions to get a nice picture. Borderlands is an out-of-touch executive is what an out-of-touch executive think, thinks cool kids would find appealing. One obnoxious quip after the another that feel outdated as soon as they are uttered. It all just looks like celebrities participating in a Borderlands-themed escape room instead of an actual movie. In the age of CGI slot, Borderlands gets points for crafting a vibrant post-apocalyptic setting. It's just a shame it all adds up to Guardians of the Galaxy with worse jokes. I think I've made the point. I knew that this I knew that this game that this movie was going to be was going to be trash when it came out. Um, I am very sad that I was not proven wrong. It is to me uh, deeply unfortunate. They got so much wrong with the lore. They obviously, no matter, despite that, Jack Black was not going to be able to carry this shit. And um, it is deeply unfortunate. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have great day.